Yeah, this early morning fire on Thursday morning took the life of a woman who was living inside of the home and work today began to demolish two of the buildings, including the home where the fire originated. And I can tell you that we were also able to learn new details today about that home being deemed uninhabitable. Airview 8 gives us a close-up view as workers begin the process of demolishing two homes damaged in Thursday morning's fire. The second and third floors are extremely unstable. Chief Brian Enterline says the fire has been deemed accidental, though an exact cause was not determined, in part because of how bad the damage was. The home was deemed uninhabitable months before the fire. A report obtained by WGAL said collapsing ceilings and hoarding conditions inside the residence were among the reasons cited, but Enterline says the city often tries to work with homeowners to resolve such issues, especially if a person has nowhere else to go. It's very difficult because of the way the laws are written, right? Um, we can, you can, the government could force folks out of their buildings, um, but there's a, there, it, it is not the right and moral thing to do. Right, and there's also legal ramifications to that. The home where the fire started also did not have a smoke alarm, which Enterline says likely contributed to the strength of the fire by the time firefighters arrived. The longer that fire burns undetected without that smoke detector going off, alerting residents, alerting neighbors, the longer and more, uh, uh, you know, involved that fire is. Chief Enterline wouldn't get into specifics about the woman's situation, but he also did say that there was a number of reasons why the fire did not spread to other homes in the area, including the fact that firefighters, once they had finally gotten here, were able to put out the flames, at least in terms of being able to keep it from spreading to many of the other homes in this densely populated area. In Harrisburg, Tom Lehman, News 8.